so this is what it looks uh, right now our window and what if we want to move some of the objects on the screen let's see how to do that first let's add um, background so I will say here screen dot fill and which color we're going to say white right now okay how about the movement the movement in this case I need to change the X and the Y position if we take for example this rectangle the X on, and the Y position on the screen loop by loop and so that the uh, Pi game can draw it differently it was explained really bad but let's let's see how it works um, uh, we will take only the rectangle so just put an asterisk asterisk in front of the circle and in front of the line so we're going to comment this one and just use the rectangle right now so okay let's say that we want to move our rectangle on the right side and we want to simulate a movement so keep it going we need to take this two details this is the X and this is the Y and move it outside of the loop so we we'll do X position rect 200 and Y position rect equals 140 and so we change this one with x position rect and this one with y position rect and now we're going to say x position rect plus or equals 5 so each time we're going to add 5 to the x position rect so when we start the game it begins at 200 then it will be 205, 210, 215 and so on let's see Whoa. it disappeared you can see how fast it is this happens why our loop is refreshing uh, main times per seconds it can be like even 200 or 300 I don't know exactly how many times per second and so we need to set a limit so first we need to define a clock and let's define it here under screen clock equals by game dot time dot clock now that we have a clock we can move it here clock dot tick and let's say 30 okay much better in this case our screen is refreshing each second for 30 times so basically the higher it's this number the faster your game will run and so the opposite the lower the slow ah, okay clock tick one let's see what 
okay at each second it's five pixels and you can see it's not even responding it's too slow 15 and so on the same for the y position y position rect plus or equals five and you can see it's going down ah oh, it disappeared So this is all about object movements and the same you can do for the circle, uh, let's say x position circle equals what is this one 400 y position yeah equals 250 and then let's say let's make it slower x position circle plus or equal to and y position circles plus or equals one clock the I would like to make 30 per second and ah okay and the circle is actually not moving because we are not using those these variables for the circle and so this one or if you want it to go up it will be this way, negative. And you can even change the radius of the circle, so make it bigger, bigger or smaller. So um, let's say circular radius equals 30 and then make it always smaller x uh, radius circular radius minus equals 1 and so it should get always smaller when it's going on it's not because I'm not using the variable where I need to use it this here And then we get an error because the radius gets to zero. But that's not important for the moment. Let's just delete all this useless code right now. It was just to show you how, how it works. And let's delete this one, this one. We don't even need all this one inside. So let's just leave the clock and the background. And this is all for the moment and see you in the next tutorial.